Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So as you guys can see from the title of this video today, we're going to be talking about what you can do if your customer says that they have not received their package or their package has gotten lost or stolen. Now before I get started with this video, I just want to let you guys know I am not no expert in this because this has actually never happened to me specifically when dealing with a customer so I can't really give my personal experience but I definitely have spoke to other business owners who have gone through this and I've also seen some TikTok videos where some business owners have actually talked about this happening to them so I'm definitely not gonna be like saying this is exactly what you need to do but this is definitely something that you should keep in mind in case this is something that you ever do encounter before I get started with this video I just want to say hey if you're new here welcome my name is Donna I love to do fashion business videos so if you are new to my channel definitely hit that subscribe button down below if you do enjoy Enjoy. also give the video a thumbs up and turn on the bell so that you do get notified whenever I do upload more videos and if you have any video topics that you want me to cover definitely feel free to leave your comment down below and I'll try to do those videos for you so, so like one of the first things that I can say like when I like this is something that I actually was concerned about happening with me like if you're a business owner I'm pretty sure that you have like these fears and these thoughts that you're like oh my gosh what if this happens what if this happens like what am I supposed to do and that's why we're like always like reading and learning and like talking to other people trying to get more information because when we encounter when we encounter certain things we want to be able to like handle it the proper way and I was just thinking I was like okay so what has happened when I got my package lost or stolen? Like what is, like what did the company do about it? What did the shipping carrier do about it? And I have gotten my package lost in the mail and usually when that happens they'll either send me a new one so that means that they're sending me they're sending me another piece of their merchandise so they're actually losing money because of that lost item and sometimes they will just refund me another thing too is like make sure that if this does happen to you let your customer know that they should contact their shipping carrier because sometimes especially with USPS they would hold your package at their facility like the facility nearest to you like whenever you need to go pick up your package go to that same location it has to coincide with your zip code it has to be because that's how they do it it's usually part of your zip code so you can't just go to any random location but just go to that location that is nearest to you the location that the location that typically holds your packages so tell your customer to contact them and see if they have their package there because sometimes errors happen and sometimes you know things get scanned wrong and it's marked as delivered when it's actually not delivered to the customer but it's delivered to the facility and I also notice like sometimes with certain packages it for me it would say that it's delivered when they actually have either left a slip in my mailbox because my mailbox was too small to hold the item or they would mark it as delivered without leaving a slip in there so I knew that whenever that would happen I knew that I would have to contact the shipping facility near me and see if they had it had the package and most of the time they did have the package also another thing too is to tell your customer to check with your neighbors because something that happens with me a lot and I don't even I like I'm friendly with my neighbors but I never ask my neighbors to hold my packages or anything for me and sometimes I notice that like if it's it's, it doesn't even matter usually it doesn't happen with FedEx or DHL but if it's USPS or UPS sometimes they will um, ask my neighbor to hold my package and my neighbor will hold my package and sometimes it'll be like I'm waiting for my package it says delivered and I'm home and I'm like I didn't even hear the door but my neighbor has my package so like then my neighbor would either come to my door to give me my package or I would have to go and check with them so it could also be a situation like that where your neighbor is holding your package because the shipping carrier person left it with your neighbor and usually like I don't know I feel like that's a little bit tricky like even if you have like really friendly neighbors I think it could be uh, like a kind of a tricky thing to do like 
because you can't really trust everybody also let your customer know that they should check all around their house like if you live in a house and not like an apartment building check around your house check the the back gate and the front door because sometimes packages really are just left there and if the customer is still insisting that they their package is not there and it was marked as delivered there and sometimes you could even tell them to like to wait an extra business day because sometimes when it comes to international orders usually the the way they update it in the system sometimes it says delivered when it has actually reached your um, distribution facility and that's when they say it's delivered but then you actually get it the next day so to see if that's the case like just let the customer know that you know they should wait it out something about me like whenever customers order from me i always always track their packages for them and if there are delays with their packages it really gets me so nervous because i'm like please i hope everything just goes well because you never know with these shipping carriers they're not always the most reliable like you can't always trust that everything is always going to go smoothly sometimes there will just be losses that you have to take and in the end usually it always falls on us as the business owner and as the seller we have to handle it in a professional way and we have to also talk to the customers in a in a way to show them like okay Okay, I know it's not your fault just know it's not my fault either we're gonna handle this situation and just let them know in a professional way how you're gonna handle the situation too some customers I know aren't always the greatest like you will sometimes run into customers who are extremely rude maybe they've been waiting a really really long time for their package to be delivered and they're they're like okay there's been so many delays like I'm just so over this most of the time the customer is always looking at you as the business owner they want you to do something about it even though like we're not the ones who are delivering the packages ourselves they put so much of the responsibility on us to do something about it i feel like if i found myself in a situation like this with a customer i would either just if none of those other things work that i was telling you guys about i would just either refund them or ask them if they want me to resend the item so whichever whichever they decide i'll just go with it because i'd rather have my customer be more satisfied with their experience with me especially if it's their first time shopping with me rather than them being really upset and having just this horrible experience with me and i know that that is kind of like kind of where you just have to take the loss because Either way, you want to make sure that the customer is happy and satisfied even though it's really not anybody's fault but the shipping carrier. And I remember reading online, I don't know if this is true, but it was saying that if the package says that it was delivered and if it says it was delivered or if it says a notice was left and that means that it is no longer on you as the business owner to handle that situation it is up to the shipping carrier to make sure that they're taking care of it but i still feel like as the business owner it still lands on us because the customer is still expecting that we will handle it for them i've even heard customers saying that in situations like this the business owner should be the one contacting the shipping facility i mean the um carrier facility and stuff and i don't think that's true i think that when you order something online as just like a regular person you're supposed to track and make sure that your package is on its way and you shouldn't expect the business owner to be the one to actually track your package and even when it says delivered and stuff like you should be able to handle that and then to like pe some people they don't even use the correct email address and stuff so they don't even have their tracking information so sometimes it could just be a mess and you could also file a claim with the shipping carrier if your package gets lost or stolen every shipping carrier has a different way of processing those kind of things and it also depends on the cost of what you have 
purchased what the customer has purchased as well so i definitely would say like if you are shipping out an item that you know is really expensive if you're shipping out an item that you know is really expensive or just a really large order make sure that you as the business owner are adding your um insurance onto those orders just so that you are protected and that you have a way of getting some type of reimbursement back from the shipping carrier and i heard that these this process could be really really tedious and time consuming as well i've never gone through it myself so i can't say what that experience is like but i hear that it's actually really time consuming and stuff and sometimes not even worth it if you're going to file a claim for fedex lost packages so i was reading this article and it says here's a few things you need to keep in mind if you're going to file a claim for fedex lost packages so it says if the contents of the package costs less than $100, you can complete the entire form online and request a refund without documentation. And then it says in the event of the package costing anywhere above $100, proper documentation is necessary for the claim to get processed. And then it also says documentation can include fed up FedEx pickup orders, photos of the damage or lost content, proof or va of valued documentation. So it also says claims have to be filed within 60 days for US shipments and 21 calendar days for international shipments with all supporting documents filed within nine months of delivery date. So with UPS, it says that you can file within five months online until nine months through customer service within 45 days if it's uncollected and then for usps it says file within 60 days for all services for all services except for um priority mail first class and surface mail and then with dhl you could file within 30 days so in the end i definitely can say like we just have to protect ourselves and just get insurance for our packages especially if they're really large and expensive packages just to be on the safe side so if you guys have ever experienced anything like this leave your comments down below on what you did and what worked for you and let us know like was it worth it or did you feel like it still wasn't worth it for you as a business owner to have insurance on your packages let us know down below in the comments so that is basically it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you have any video suggestions feel free to leave them down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video